Understanding belaying a partner in rock climbing. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase used in rock climbing, belaying a partner. This term is not only interesting in its specific context but also offers a great opportunity to understand how English phrases can adopt specialized meanings in different activities. So, let's climb into this topic together. Belaying is a critical safety technique used in rock climbing. It involves a climber, called the belayer, using a belay device to control the rope attached to another climber, known as the lead climber. The belayer's role is to manage the slack in the rope, prevent falls, and assist in the climber's ascent. This technique is vital for safety, ensuring that a climber does not fall a great distance. When we talk about belaying a partner, the emphasis is on the role of the belayer. This person must be attentive, responsive, and skilled in handling the rope. They need to pay close attention to the lead climber's movements, providing enough rope for climbing while being ready to stop a fall by tightening the rope quickly. It's a role that requires trust and communication between the climber and the belayer. Interestingly, the phrase, belaying a partner, can also be used metaphorically in everyday English. It implies supporting someone in their endeavors, being there to prevent them from failing or to help them in difficult times. Just like in climbing, where the belayer plays a crucial supporting role, in life, we often belay our friends, family, or colleagues, offering them the support and security they need. Let's touch upon some technical terms related to belaying. Belay device, a mechanical piece of climbing equipment used to control the rope. Lead climber, the climber who ascends the route first, placing protection and leading the way. Dynamic rope, a type of rope designed to stretch and absorb the energy of a fall. Anchor, a secure point where the belay device is attached. Understanding these terms can help in grasping the full context of belaying a partner. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, belaying a partner, and its significance in both rock climbing and everyday English. Remember, language is not just about words but also about the context and culture in which they are used. Keep exploring and learning, and you'll find that English, much like climbing, is an exciting adventure with lots to discover. Stay safe, and happy learning!